You know, taking pride in your school means more than just wearing the school colors. And that's what one local high school is demonstrating as students rolled up their sleeves and got to work cleaning up. Their inspiration is a great example of what's right with our schools. It's beautification day at High Point Central High School. Students are working hard both inside the school and out. For some, it's a chance to earn service learning hours towards their graduation goal. For others, it's a way to show their bison pride. I think people take for granted how much people care about this school, so cleaning it up like this is just, you know, uh, just good to see from, a, from an outside view, from someone driving by, nice to see a nice clean school, and just going to school every day, it's nice not to, you know, walk up and see trash uh, on your left and right and everything, so yeah, just, just a little appreciation for both the students and anyone else. It's statements like that that make Principal Mike Hettenbach smile. He says he's heard about the great history of the school, and his goal is to emphasize that those days are continuing here and now. And I go back to students saying they're walking the halls and they feel like this is a school again. You know, so if they feel like this is a school again, they, they recognize all the beautification projects that are going on, not by just our staff or myself or students, but by the community, by these companies like Ioline who are volunteering to do this. You know, they take pride in it. They're going to be more willing to, if they drop something on the floor, they pick it up. They're going to be less willing to write something on their desk. They're going to, you know, if they miss the garbage can, they're going to pick it up and throw it away. If they go into the restroom, they're going to pick up after themselves. Um, the cafeteria is another great example. So it's just a matter of this pride is going to circulate right back into them getting a better education. They're going to be more focused on wanting to be in this school. Hattenbach partnered with Ioline Dance Company and its Affirmation Movement Project, where volunteers from the company and community come into the school and try to uplift the mindset of students and teachers. We're just trying to build self-esteem, and this year we're focusing our all of our community outreach projects, anything that's affirmation focused, and this year we decided that we're just going to start with the schools because that's primarily where our students spend the majority of their days, and when we talk to them about what What's the best way to encourage yourself as you start with affirmations and so we're slowly creating a movement to change everyone's self-talk around them so that we could just create a positive environment especially in the school system. They're doing that with affirmations written and spoken and even painted on the walls. One of the first things I saw when I came into High Point Central High School was where our school police officers are, our social worker graduation coach and it was just very, how do I say blah. And uh, so they've come in and the murals they're doing are unbelievable. We have young, young kids here uh, involved in the dance company who are uh, sending little affirmation messages that are going to be distributed out to our teachers. All of this to build up students, teachers, and support staff. People just have so much love for this school and so do I. Well, Mr. Hettenbach says that he's been told time and time again by alumni that High Point Central can be a special place. And he says he's seeing that in his students. He says they're taking pride in their school and wanting to come learn and be a bison.